I begin this presentation using Google Earth Builder system. The goal of our presentation is to use GeoSDI GeoPortal and the Google Earth Builder data in the same web scenario. The Google Earth Build Power and the GeoSDI interface run together on the GeoPortal system. No software is installed on your PC, but only software and data as a services. This is the right use of the cloud. Runs now Maps GeoPortal. Okay. Maps.geosdi.org. I use an administrative account so I will have in the various menu all the function active. We can select the base map between different maps present. Map option menu with graticul background. I can enable or disable the various widget from widget menu. Each widget feature allows me to manage the system. The geocodic widget allows me to find a place very quickly. We are looking for Colosseum area in Rome. We have uh, all the functionality of a classical GIS to navigate in the map. The routing widget calculates the fastest route between two nose addresses. This is an example in the city of Rome. The widget AOA, Area of Emergency, allows us to quickly find an area of interest so different people share the same area quickly in the same way. In the GeoPlatform menu with my administrator account I can also insert and manage other accounts. We can add an account or manage an existing account. I insert name surname, email, login and password and the rule for this user. If the account had already been included, the system allows me to manage it. We leave now the portal so we can use the new account. Okay. I can change my personal setting and I can select a specific area from AOE menu. I can select and edit the geometry entities. I can edit vertex, rotate, resides, delete, I have zoom in, out, previous, zoom next, get feature info. I calculate a distance. I calculate an area. I use the function of reverse geocoding based on a Google data. I can use also internal and external data. I create a folder to put inside it some external data link. My personal data can be uploaded from my PC using upload menu. I can run a direct upload of raster or vector files. I can connect a single WMS service link. I can connect WFS and WMS servers. 
Now I use WMS server list and I select one server from the list. When I select a server, the system show me the get capability list, so I can select my favorite layer data. I selected the layers I want to use in my personal scenario. I select a layer from enabled styled server to edit. I select some layer and uh, the province of Italy. I can change the display styles and uh, I can edit it. I can change the province styles. Okay. Okay. I can manage the properties of the various levels. I have also some layer command like properties, zoom to select, export in TIFF, shapefile, PDF and so on. And I have also other command like delete layer, save scenario, print, export project, import project, preview in KML. But GeoPortal has also a Google Earth Builder connector. I request to connect to the job server. The system runs the Google out to authentication and uh, my Gpolter is ready to use also Jeb data. Now I can connect with the Jeb server like a WMS server and I have Jeb data inside my personal scenario using Google Earth Build Power. This is a fantastic opportunity to use in the same system all the Google Earth Builder functionalities. As seen, Google Earth Builder data is available in the cloud and the GeoSDI Geo platform is able to use them in a completely interactive way. The synergy of using Google Earth Builder and the GeoSDI Geo platform is impressive. Please leave me one idea. The data is in the cloud. The software is in the cloud. Users are in the cloud. So, data becomes information. Data and information is shared in the cloud. But when the data and the information are shared, and those who use the data and the information can share the way to use them, then we can say that the entire system has become a system of knowledge sharing. Using Google Earth Builder and the GeoPlatform interface is a way to share geospatial knowledge to use geoplatform type maps.geosdi.org login testing password testing for more information www.geosdi.org thank you